Now you know what they say, what's old becomes new again, and nowhere is that more evident than with Adidas resurrecting the Barricade 18s this year. And since the Barricades were discontinued, Adidas has come out with the Soul Quartz, the Soul Match, the Uber Sonics, but nothing in that space in between where the Barricades used to occupy. And with so many players clamoring for a return of the Barricade line, the question remains, why re-release the 18s? Let's find out. Hey everybody, it's Zach, Tennis Pro Doc, helping you improve your game with science. If you want to stay up to date on the latest tennis shoe tech from the perspective of a current foot doctor and former tennis pro, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, that way you don't miss a thing. And of course, today I have the Barricade 18s going through the suicide test, serve test, and of course, play test. And in case you're wondering, yes, this actually is an old colorway of the Barricade 18s. The new colorway is running for about $150. However, I got these ones on eBay for $75. But of course the Barricade line has a pretty uniform look. You can pretty much spot any of them out in a crowd. Now the upper of the Barricade 18s is all about reinforcement. Everything in the engineering of this shoe is designed to protect the foot inside of it. And that engineering is really notable in the ankle collar where you have this synthetic gripping material around your ankle. You can see it says GeoFit on it. Well, they're not lying. Check out the geography of this blister these things gave me. And since this is the first tennis shoe this year that I have tried that's actually given me a blister on my Achilles, make sure your first couple outings in these, you are wearing thick crew socks with them, or these will rub down a thinner pair of crew socks, or especially if you're wearing ankle socks. But on the flip side of that blister-inducing ankle collar, you are getting quite a bit of protection of your ankle. This is a really stout ankle collar, even more stout than the Soul Court Boost. Even though the Soul Court Boost is a thicker ankle collar, the Barricades have a stronger ankle collar. As you come over the toe box, you'll notice there's just a lot of bulk in the materials in the toe box. Now, unlike the Vapor Cage 4s from Nike, you don't necessarily feel the bulk of those materials. The shoe still does feel pretty maneuverable. And they also have these really nice reinforced plastic shoelace eyelets here in the ankle. What this really helps do is give you a stronger tie down the ankle, once again, reinforcing the ankle of the shoe. Now looking at the midsole, I noticed two big things. Number one, it is a bounce midsole, it's not boost. Even though back in 18, boost and bounce midsoles were available for the shoe, which does tell you a lot about what players were responding to better in this lineup of shoes. And number two is this quasi shank, orthotic and lateral ankle stabilizer. Now I like the idea of this because you're getting arch support as well as ankle sprain protection. It's almost acting as like a cradle for your foot. But if you have a wider flat foot, a wider high arched foot, or just a wide foot in general, this thing is going to drive you nuts. And I would know, I actually had a pair of these back in 2018, the all white colorways in my normal size. And I actually had to get rid of them after a month because they were hurting my lateral foot so bad I couldn't take it anymore. Now I learned my lesson this year, I went up a half size and they fit pretty well. My bigger foot, my left foot was a little cramped for about 45 minutes, but it eventually did break in. And if you have a medium to more narrow foot, these are gonna fit you just fine. However, if you have a wider foot, I would suggest going up that half size. However, the shoe does run just a tad long. So if you have a shorter foot and a wider foot, you're probably just gonna wanna look somewhere else. Now this mid-range herringbone tread on the barricades is great for hard or clay courts. You also get a really wide heel with a really wide tread base. Gives you a lot of stability on both surfaces. And you get a little but not a lot of upper protection from the outsole. I would like to see just a little bit more up here. This material will hold for a while, but nothing's better than outsole rubber to protect the medial toe box. I came in at 14.96 seconds on the suicide test. Definitely not as fast as the Soul Court Boost or the Ubersonic 2s, but faster than the Ubersonic 3s and the Soul Match Bounce, so right in the middle of the Adidas lineup. And while the barricades are definitely more aerodynamic than the Soul Court Boost, the Soul Court Boost makes much better use of its midsole shank and arch reinforcement to create just a much better springboard effect in the shoe. As evidenced by the serve test, the barricades only got 23 centimeters on the serve test. One thing I notice about these play testing them is how secure I feel, especially when changing directions. I don't necessarily get a jolt of energy when accelerating, but starting and stopping, I at least feel really ultra stable. Now these shoes are at their best when I'm at my most off balance. It's almost like sometimes they're pulling you out of the abyss to keep you more stable. However, you are gonna sacrifice some comfort with that. So if you're a real baseline retriever, if you do most of your work running back and forth, you are gonna get quite a bit of benefit out of these shoes. Just don't expect them to be the most plush and comfortable shoes on the planet. So why did Adidas bring back the Barricade 18s? 
Well, let me know in the comments down below what you think, but I'm honestly not all that sure. They're not the lightest barricades in the lineup, they're not the most comfortable, and they're not the fastest. They are, however, the most protective barricades in the lineup. Now, I think Adidas probably re-released them to gauge interest in the barricade line to see if there is a way to move forward with them in the future. And I think there really is a place for them in between the more maximalist Soul Court Boost and the more minimalist Ubersonic. So here's hoping we see something new in 2021 or 2022, and I'll be on the lookout. I hope you are too. Otherwise, hope you all have a great day, great night, wherever in the world you are tuning in from. I'll see you next time.